we got a Golf R. Wow. That's lost control and had a what head on. What is going on? Right. Should we give her a name? You don't want to know what the name might be. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, I never said anything. <laughs> Good morning and welcome back to Two Day Pass. Please don't forget to subscribe. Yeah, I'm talking to you. Please subscribe. All right, help this channel because it's really needed. Um, mm -hmm. We're doing the most funnest videos we can. Absolutely. We're trying to make learning to drive as interesting as possible and as entertaining as possible. So we're going to get started with this. Can you still get a suntan if the AC is on, Mike? No, no comment. <laughs> we'll Google that one later. Yeah. All right, so we're going to do a test route. We're here at Isleworth Test Centre. Uh, mm -hmm. We've got our little friendly sat nav on there to guide us around the way. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to do our best not to talk over the sat nav so that you can hear it and understand where the sat nav is trying to tell you to go. Because that's quite important for test, isn't it? So sometimes Absolutely, we can't yeah. see it. I can't really see it. The sun's bleaching mm -hmm. it out and it's slightly tilted for the other camera. So mm -hmm. I'm going to do my best to listen. So Mike's under strict instructions <laughs> to button it when that sat nav starts talking. It's annoying though. It is really annoying. Right. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we're going to do our best to follow sat nav. Yeah. We're going to go do a test route at Isleworth and we're just going to give you some tips about learning to drive at Isleworth Test Centre. But in general, yeah. Yeah. Let's Ready? do this. Okay, so here I am leaving Isleworth Test Centre. Mm -hmm. Always remember to have your seatbelt on. Oh my. Some people <laughs> actually drive away without having a seatbelt mm -hmm. on. Mm -hmm. Okay, doing my all round observations. Is that necessary to do here? It seems as I've got a brick wall behind me and a bush. What do you reckon? Not really. Not really, no. <laughs> yeah. Do you think it might be a good example to the examiner if we do it before we drive off though? Could do, you don't need to over exaggerate though. Okay, right? all mm. right, so I'm done and off I go. Mm. Now obviously it is quite quiet here at the moment, so mm. we don't have anybody else around us, but when mm. you're on your driving test, mm -hmm. you might have other road users around you. So you've mm. got to take your time, make sure it's safe. Mm -hmm. uh, the mm. car park's generally busy, so yeah. you know if you do have anybody around you, just wait until they go. All mm. right. Uh, these gates will be open for you on your driving test, so you won't have to wait here for the gates to open. But obviously, I do, so wait until they're fully open before I move off. And watching that big chunk of metal there on the way out. I don't really want to drive over that. Okay, sat nav? No, nothing from the sat nav. Anyways, I can see it's telling me to turn left, and you will <laughs> always turn left because that's <laughs> a dead end, isn't yeah, it? Absolutely. Right, let's see what it tells me now. Right, oh, Alright, what two mirrors do I check before I signal right, Mike? Can you tell me? <laughs> <laughs> you All know right. that. I work Which inside mirror? to outside. Yeah, that's you the way. It? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Why inside to outside though before we signal? True image first, right? True image. Alright, fill me in and with And then that. your convex glass. I haven't heard. Alright. Ah, oh, true image as in a flat glass. Yeah? yeah? And then convex glass, yeah. okay? But right. it depends, right? So if you was a, a van driver, with enough where well, you couldn't see the back, they wouldn't have a centre mirror. No, they wouldn't, no. Yeah. So you'd want to always check your side mirrors. They're more He's just making a habit. Check your mirrors in pairs. I was always yes. taught that. Check good. your mirrors in Me pairs. Too. Hello. Yeah. Yeah. Very good tip to have. Uh, it's a 20 road here. We had the warning chime because we've reached 20 miles an hour. Mm. Uh, so don't be worried. After 200 you... yards, turn left, A310, Twickenham Road, then cross the roundabout and take the first exit. Hmm, interesting. Right, this is a route that I haven't done. Okay, so this is a recent test at Isleworth. So I'm going to be turning left. Uh, the Turn traffic left, lights changing. Then cross the roundabout and take the first exit. So I'm checking my true image glass here, my mirror. Uh, for my braking or change of speed, which is called on the test. Mm. Now, with the mirrors, uh, like you said, check them in pairs. I Hello. always got taught that as well. It's a really good habit to have. When we're changing speed, we only really need to check one, don't we? But it depends on the situation. I mean, if it's busy, if you're in central London, I'll be checking all my mirrors. <laughs> all right. What is the necessary mirror checks for a driving test? Because there's three categories, isn't there? Mm. Can you name them for me, please? No, I can't. Damn you, Mike. I just want to make, my, make me work Just harder. tell me everything, man. <laughs> so you got to educate me. Change of speed, which is the one that I just Change of direction. About. Change of direction, which is the one I'm religious about. Yeah. You must check those mirrors before changing direction. 
Yeah, and then the last one would be. All right, signal. <laughs> All right, so before we signal, pair our mirrors, Hello. depending what way we're signaling. Before mm -hmm. we signal, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. before we change direction, pair our mirrors, depending on what way we're going to turn the steering. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then before we change speed, which really means slow down, mm. we're going to pair our mirrors. Mm. Now, was I in a left only lane? If I was, do I need to signal? I mean, I put it on After anyway. Mm. If it's going to benefit exit, someone, right? 310 Twickenham Road. Yes. All right, definitely need to signal here because the lady on the sat nav told me turning left. So I hear left, I signal left. 20 zone. Would you need to signal left? Well, uh, that's up for debate, isn't it? I guess. After um, 100 yards, cross the roundabout and take the second exit. So when I hear no direction. Cross the roundabout and take the second exit, A310 Twickenham Road. I give no signal. When I hear left or right, yep. I signal left or right. Mm. That's the way I work it. But I agree with you from what I'm believing you're implying is do you need to signal that roundabout? Because it looks straight, doesn't it? Mm. So, I mean, if you forgot it, I don't think it'd be a big deal, would it? No. no. Right, so 20 is plenty. 20 is plenty painful. <laughs> Very painful. <laughs> but it's the law. So I must drive down the road obeying the speed limit at mm -hmm. 20 mm -hmm. miles an hour. Yep. Which I am doing. Oh, yeah. the side of the road. Right. Would you ask me, I can see a speed change here. Would you ask me a tell me question, please, Mike? Tell me. Hmm. Uh, All right. It's a Sunday morning. <laughs> I can't remember a tell me. You can't remember a tell me question. No. Oh, I'm my kind days. of half asleep. <laughs> oh, my days. Sunday morning, come on. All right. Give me, okay. give Mike, me some sort Mike's, of credit. Mike's coming up with I'm doing it. I'm, I'm going right. blank today. Can I ask you a tell me question then? Yes, please. All right. Since it is a Sunday morning, I'm going to use the bus lane, right? Because mm. I can. I'm trying to see what my next direction is. Oh, I'm going to be turning right. So actually. Oh, roadworks, so I'll keep the bus lane. Okay, yeah. so Mike, would you tell me mm -hmm. where would you find the correct tyre pressure for the vehicle and how or what would you use to check the tyre pressure, please? I'd use a, sorry, the tyre pressure. Yes, please. How would I check the tyre pressure? Mm -hmm. With a reliable pressure gauge. Good, and where would you find the correct tyre pressure for this vehicle or any vehicle? It would be in the car manual. Brilliant, all right, thank you very much. Yeah. I'm and that's what I think the examiner just needs that. Don't mm -hmm. elaborate. Don't go into too much detail. Am I right? <laughs> yeah, a little bit too much detail. Huh? Keep yeah. it plain and simple. Oh, yeah. Don't go. Don't start doing so. Because a lot of people start doing that, right? right? Oh, it could be in here. On the door. Blah, blah, blah. Look at the tyre. Read the thing. Yeah, like, just keep it simple. Just keep it simple. Give them what they want and just carry on. Would you agree? Totally agree. Right, why would you go in the right left when there's two lanes? Because I'm going to go straight across. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah. so, so I want to be, be in the left, left lane. Yeah. Very good. All right. Excellent point. Thank you. I guess half of me was thinking to turn right and go home. <laughs> Seriously. It's my excuse. Where do you live, Scott? I live over there, Mike. <laughs> What's that way? <laughs> Which area do you live in? Uh, it's called Twinkle Town. Twinkle Town. Okay. Where all the trolls live. Right, what's the colour of the traffic green. light? It's green. Come on, come on. I'm surprised no one's horning at you. Get on with it, man. Are they horny, Mike? <laughs> Had you wait another few seconds? It still doesn't get that traffic. What's that? Are they horny, Mike? <laughs> no, they're not. Then turn left the roundabout and take the first exit. Can we take the first exit? Thank yes, you. we can. This way. That's the turn I wanted to take to go into Tesco's. Now, this is a 20. How do I know it's a 20, Mike? Oh, God. Okay. Mike don't like my questions. Oh, no. Too obvious. Just leave him alone. Just oh, go no. to sleep, Mike. It's all right. Don't worry about it. You just, so you just people can't like see 20, you need to go yeah. back to the drawing board and take more lessons, right? Drawing board. Yeah. That's what I would say as an examiner. Sorry. Are you sorry, Mike? 
Not really. No. Nah. Nah. Right, this roundabout coming up, uh, we're on route now. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we've managed to sort the problem Go out. Go left on the roundabout yep. and take the first exit. Turning left and then I believe I'll be turning left again because there's a road here I know and you probably know it quite well, Mike. It's really narrow. Oh, wood lane. Yeah. Is this the actual road in fact, isn't it? And it yeah. gets now. Yes. Is there a school down here? Oh yeah. Yeah, there's a school here as well. Um, so this is going to be a road that you would possibly use on test. Mm -hmm. uh, many other test centres will have similar roads. Yeah. Ah, so that's it, isn't it? Yeah, but we're not going down there. We're Look not at this going guy. down there. All right, so we're going to let this guy go past us. <laughs> like, this is the thing, right? People just don't road. know how to overtake. And it's a 20 road, so yeah. he's going way go. above the speed limit. Okay, so Wood Lane was on the left. That's mm. the very narrow road. Uh, on a very narrow road, what kind of recommendations would you give people on the driving tests? Slow down. Slow down, yeah. Slow down. Look After deep down that road. Yards, turn left, Ridgeway Road look North. For, look, look for my magic word that I always say. Street furniture. <laughs> oh, I love it. Yeah, street furniture. I'm using what? that with everybody now. Oh, are you? Yeah. They what? like People turn like left. it. Here's street furniture. Bus stops, lampposts. It's, it's furniture on the floor, right? So this roundabout wasn't actually told to Ooh, see a bus coming. Wow. It wasn't actually told to me that it was a roundabout, but I did mm -hmm. hear it say turn left. Right, big red monster. So I'm going to stop here, see what he does next. Maybe he uses this bit on the right. Okay, if he's not going to move the bit in the right here, I gave him a big gap. Mm -hmm. Then I'm quite confident I can get through here, not a problem. Okay. We and we said thank you to him. Yeah, yeah. Mike's very polite. Mm -hmm. Because After Mike used to be. Yards, turn right, St. Mary's Crescent. What did you used to be in a former life, Mike? Turn a right. A long time ago. <laughs> and he did it for about a year or so. <laughs> why, 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 why is it worth mentioning a long time ago? Every time Listen, ask, at the end of the day, it's a skill I gained. Yeah. I now have a PCV license, yeah. so I can drive a double decker, I Excellent. can drive a coach. Cool, man. Yeah. And I have more awareness now with bigger vehicles. Uh, you put me in any vehicle now, I can drive it. Literally. One thing that I'm very aware of, because the car keeps making me aware of it, is mm -hmm. the speed limit. Yeah. Literally 20 miles an hour everywhere we're going. Yeah. At yeah. the end of the road, turn left, Thornbury Road, then turn right. Ah. Right, would you ask me a show me question, please, Michael? Could you kindly show me that your, your window's open and then close it again? When it's safe to do so, please. No. Turn left, turn left, then turn then right. Then I'll pull you over, wouldn't I? And <laughs> say, right, Good. this is how it works. Yes, excellent. No, no. Well done. Yeah. yeah. So you pull over, yeah. stop, Absolutely. figure out how to do the show me question, yeah. and then take it from there. Turn right. I want to A4, come back to Great that. West yeah. Road. But first, mm -hmm. this is important. Crossroads, Why turning is this important? right. A lot of people don't position correctly. So we've got road markings, street furniture, mm -hmm, on mm -hmm. the road in the centre of the actual junction. Absolutely. There's yeah. an arrow for us and mm -hmm. there's an arrow for the oncoming traffic. Absolutely. Yeah. Some people don't see that and go beyond the arrows or oh. don't stop where the arrows are. Mm -hmm. Okay, so positioning. Another factor that people fail for, mm -hmm. see those two vehicles on the opposite side? I saw the screen light, so I'm actually going on time this time. Yeah. Uh, they don't stop for the oncoming traffic. So they'll come here and then they'll just turn in front of that vehicle. Mm. Okay, now the light's changing yellow, prepare to go. When the light changes red, we go. This stop line is another separate traffic light because there's a stop yeah. line. Yeah. The traffic light was green, so I proceeded. Mm. Back to the show me question. Now, I said no to your show me question. All right, if the examiner's kind enough, you'll pull over, new speed limit, 40 miles an hour, pull over, figure out the show me question, then drive on and do it, right? Yeah? Mm -hmm. Now, the reason why I said no is because I've done it twi twice before. After 800 yards, turn left, Jersey Road. I've rolled the window down, mm -hmm. and what's stuck to the window, Mike? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Your, your oh, iPhone. Oh. <laughs> I've figured that one out now, yeah. so. Would you kindly ask me a separate show me question, please, Mike? Okay, could you kindly show me your rear dimister's working, please? Mike? I will safe to do so. kindly show you my rear dimister. It's this button down here. After four so hours, it's safe to do it now. Turn left, yeah. then okay, cool. go As long as you have control. And take the first exit. That's you having control, 
wouldn't recommend it to everyone. We're on a dual carriageway. It's 40 miles an hour zone. Everything is based on Turn you left. being safe. Desiree. Remember that. Then Keyword go left safe, on the yeah? roundabout she does say and take the first exit. Only B3 when it's safe. 63 or she. Spring Grove Road. I do apologise. <laughs> I was speaking when this... Uh, <laughs> Your Tom Tom was speaking. Oh, we talked over the Tom Tom. That's a wrap. And take the first exit. Visibility is quite poor on the right, although now I can see it's safe. Now, blues, blue light situation, Mike. Mm -hmm. What do I do? He's gone. Observe. Yeah, good. Observe. Now, what's the ultimate objective if we have? Yards, go right on the roundabout. If we have. And take the second exit, Kingsley Road. If we have a roundabout, they've got to turn right on. Uh, right no, if on we the have, roundabout and take the second exit. Uh, blue light situation. Yes. What's my main objective? What do I need <clears throat> to do? You need to give that vehicle space to squeeze through, right? Sweet answer, Mike. Very smoothly, just move in a little and let them come get let them come through. Analyze the road. If it's a narrow road, obviously, you know, do as much as you can. Don't endanger your vehicle or other people, road users as Perfect. well. Perfect, yes. Nice. No, would you very agree? Good. Very good answer. Buses and I've signals. got a question for you though, Scott. All right, yeah. Turn what left. would you do, right, if you're Take at the lights? Right. Do me a favour, Mike. All right, lovely. Go on. <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> See, this is the annoying thing. You've got to uh, allow that to speak worry. and then you kind of lose your you'll momentum. Get, you'll get used to it. Yeah, right, go okay. on. So I was going to ask you a question. You were. Single carriageway, yes. you're at the lights. Uh -huh. Traffic's chock-a-block, you're first in line. Okay. The lights are red. Right. There's a police car uh, trying to come through. Mm. <laughs> you know what I'm going to ask? Uh, no, no, Would no. you jump the red lights for them? No. After 200 yards, are you legally turn right, right, bridge road, then cross the roundabout and take the first exit. Sorry, what are you saying, Mike? <laughs> Turn you know right. what I say. <laughs> Are you legally allowed to turn the, the light? Exit. Sorry, talking over the lady. Um, right. Are you legally allowed to jump the light? No, of course not. It's a red light. Not allowed to go through the red light for no Even uh, if they keep on horning at you? No, you're not. You're going to get a ticket. You're going to get some oh, Has that ever happened to you where they keep on horning at you? Cross the roundabout and take the first exit. Mm, not that I can recall. Cross the no. roundabout and take the first exit. Bridge Road. Maybe we should start talking to the sat now because she seems to be a bit lonely. She's giving us three times directions for that one tiny little I know. roundabout. What is going on? Right. Should we give her a name? <sighs> you don't want to know what the name might be. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what? I never said anything. <laughs> I was being nice. <laughs> no. Very good. What? Um, Alexa? Yeah. No, I'm only joking. Uh, I'll go for Gloria. I don't know Gloria. Why. Gloria. Gloria. Yeah. After 200 yards, cross the roundabout and take the first exit, Worton Road. Thanks, Gloria. Right, okay. So, first exit on the roundabout. He's going to flash it. Okay. Oh, yeah, because he went into us. He went us, right into us. Yeah. Oh, cross what's the happening there? And take Can we the slow down slightly? Oh, oh, my God. Wow, what is going on? Look at that. We really slow down here. Yeah. Oh my god, let's see who can analyze this. Stop, what's happened here? Jesus. What's happened here, mate? So, this guy's clearly lost control of mm -hmm, the vehicle mm -hmm. yep. and gone straight into that BMW X6. Yeah. That's a very nice M -Sport. vehicle. M6. So, we've got a Golf R. Wow. That's lost control and had a head on collision with. Where do you think he's lost control? On the roundabout. It's Go, coming strange. down the hill. Coming yeah, I think he's come straight over. Yeah. Um, usually, what's the main cause for an accident? Would you say, Mike? I would agree with him, by the way. Speed. Yeah. Always speed. <laughs> yeah. 200 horsepower? Might yeah. even have more than Turn that. right. Fleming Way. Back to then center. turn right. A lot of people don't know how to handle those cars. Would you agree? Yeah. It's like someone buys a Ferrari, and if they haven't taken those extra lessons with Ferrari, yeah. turn right, then turn around when possible. I'm just going to pull up here on the left, but we're back at the test centre. Mm -hmm. All right, well, thank you very much for watching, wow. and uh, stay tuned for some more from my esteemed colleague here, Michael Sun and Gloria. 
introducing Glory. Gloria to the team now. Yeah. Um, again, I am appealing to your better nature. Hit that subscribe button, please. Come on now. We're here. We're doing this for you. All mm. right. So give us some support back. It'd be really appreciated. Any thumbs up, comments down below. Anything that you like, don't like, hit us up. Let mm. us know. Mm. And we can make these videos more entertaining. And uh, see you on the next video. Good. All right. That's a wrap. Peace.